Did that play in high speed for anybody else but me? No, it played a regular speed for me. New beat. Yeah, yeah. It, I could. I thought it, like for me, it played like a a lot a lot of bit faster. But it, it, it might have just been me. And I thought you had a new beat. Oh, I had a new beat. Oh no, I have to. I have to make one. I have to make one. No, I, I'm I, I, I'm I dead it. set. Oh, bro. The way it sounded, I thought it was a new beat. Oh shoot. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Wait, wait, Uh-oh. wait. Take two. Wait, yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna start it again, just real fast. But oh, I wanted to tell you, bro. We finished. I'm um. Well, no, we're already live. Damn it. Okay, I'll t- I'll talk to you about it later. I'll All talk right. to you about it later. Oh. Uh. Anyway. All right, y'all in the home room with Smooth, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Home Room with Smooth. We played our intro twice to see if it was the same beat, and it was. <laughs> uh, you got myself, Frankie. You got Free Spirit of Char down there on the bottom. Then you got Smoothie. No, you know, this home room. Like a- <laughs> I swear it sounds like a completely different beat. Yeah. That's the old beat. Like, that's our OG beat. That's the yeah. original intro. Oh, I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> I know. Like, I ain't, I ain't been smoking or nothing today. I'm like, I know what I'm saying. I haven't been smoking today. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know this ain't me. I'm like, oh, what's going on? See? Hey, she, you gonna mess she's mad because you didn't use her intro down. again. You gonna be? You found yourself in an upside down. I'm gonna get you a new video, damn it! I'm gonna get you. A new video. <laughs> Yo, man, man, I'm I'm dead serious, man, about that new intro thing. We're, we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it done for six, man. We we, episode, we, will, get, we, we will get episode, it done before before the end of June. Right, facts. Episode 140 is gonna be a treat. Okay, it's gonna be a real freaking treat. Okay, the, the guest the guest is. Fire, damn it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a great time. It's gonna be a great time. Um, but I I'll I'll tell you who later. Um I don't I don't wanna reveal to the mess. Anyway, um I just wanna say um we're just gonna have a just a just a talk. We're just talking. We're just talking about different things. Um so first of all, since I I, I wanna do this real quick just to knock it out of the way. Um uh Thoughts and prayers for the people in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I got a random CNN update on my phone. I didn't even. I don't even want to look at it. Okay. Honestly, I'm I'm that exhausted with shootings. I'm I'm not even. I'm not even trying to right now. Like my day was stressful enough. I had enough going on. I'm I'm good. I'll look at it tomorrow. Uh, I um, yeah. Thoughts and prayers. Uh. Luckily, okay. it's not as deadly as the other ones, but still. Um, there was one that was at a graduation. Is this the same one? Yeah, with with with, with three, three down. Wait, I thought uh, I thought the one at the graduation dude dude got shot. There right? was one day and two uh, two shot. At the oh, end wait, 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 wait. So wait, this the one I'm talking about is at a hospital. What oh, happened oh, at the graduation? Oh, I'm talking about at a, there's a school there's a school one in in, in Tulsa. There was there, there was, was one where they at a hospital. They were at a, they were at a graduation and somebody got shot yeah. and killed. And two other people were shot. Ridiculous. Well, no, it's it no, it's, it's the same thing because it's it's the St. Francis Hospital campus. Oh, oh, okay. So the oh, so the hospital is a school. Yes. But they were having a graduation. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. CNN do a better fucking job. I've read like three paragraphs. Y'all were well, not very clear. The, 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 the headline says multiple people dead in shooting on Tulsa Hospital campus. No, but a campus, you can call a hospital a campus. No, I I, I, I get it. So. That was not clear. Like, like, I went three paragraphs in and there was nothing, no mention of this is a graduation on the phone article, on the phone article. Maybe the computer article is a bit better, but the one they sent to my phone was trash. Hot garbage. Mm-hmm. I opened it up. I start scrolling. I said, what? I said at a hospital, and then you're saying it's not as bad as it was. Like, but they 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 were framing it really bad. 
and I'm not even I'm not even one for like I, I just want I just want journalists to do better. Okay. Just start with yeah. the facts off rip. Stop trying to get ad dollars by making me scroll halfway through to see all the ads so I can see what actually happened in the story. Like just write oh. the narrative. You, trust me, you'll get me hooked at the beginning if you tell me what actually happened. So then I can go, oh really? And then keep going, like, oh, what else? Unfortunately, it's 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 you know not all people like that, and they have everything's about the money, man. Everything is about the money, and truth mm-hmm. in journalism is optional. Yeah, see, that could be our first topic like that. I fucking hate clickbait headlines, and people do it, and then they get all upset when you hold them accountable. Yeah, because they honestly think that they did nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause, cause them am, like the Amber Heard stuff, like they're still writing articles, like in a way to like, kind of like soften the blow for her. Like, no, like she outright lost, like she outright lost, like she won one of her, she won one of her counterpoints, which was for two million. But I'm like, you still got to give him twenty five, so he might as well just take the two, no, a hundred. What, what? No, was it was it twenty five or was it twenty two? I thought it was. Really? Uh, I don't know, more more money than I'll ever have. So. Yeah, yeah, it was ridiculous. It's a ridiculous amount of money. And my thing is, uh when you when you really look at it, like he um she she really like was lying like that. Like all her photos went through a photo editor. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. like watching the trial, like I started watching it like regularly, and I'm like, this is horrible. This is horrible. Then she's editing footage and sending it to TMZ to make him look bad, calling TMZ at the perfect time, letting them know what side of her face to take pictures of. I'm like, who would know all of this intimate detail if you didn't you didn't lie? And then like media sources are like trying to like frame it a certain way. But I'm just like, I'm like Johnny One, man. Get that man his job back. We need Pirates of the Caribbean like seven, whatever he's, number they are. He's not going back. I know. I know. I know. But, yes. but I think she single handedly uh she unpopular opinion or popular opinion or hot take, she might have single handedly brought down the Me Too movement. So or or ended it. The death killed it. Yeah. 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 I, I, I don't believe in blindly trusting anyone. Well, I I think that that was the issue, which which kind of sucks because and and we always say it because when people people report that they want to <clears throat> they want they want to come out and um and, and they want to come out and yes we want people to be able we want alleged victims to feel comfortable mm-hmm. enough to t- tell their story, but then I think people they get blasted and and the movement that if someone comes out and and shares a story against mm-hmm. the accuser is are automatically evil and the thing was i have always wondered why like what do these contracts have that if someone says something to you like you automatically lose, lose your job and i'm not saying you know and and like you said so so and then if you go ahead and wait for all the facts you're a bad person and and you're not supporting you're not supporting the alleged victim mm-hmm. if you go and you maybe maybe you know someone um, and so, 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 you know, the alleged, um, of the alleged accused and you're trying to figure yourself out like that too, mm-hmm. that, that means you stand up for freaking sexism and, and all, all these other things and sexual abuse. And it's like, sometimes it's like, I'm waiting to find everything till I know my own opinion. And like these, mm-hmm. these studios, like I, I would understand if they were making like, like, like a new, like a new IP mm-hmm. and they said, you know what? John Depp has some stuff going on, so I'm gonna wait till this cools down, or I'm gonna wait for it, to, or, or I'm just, you know wait for it to be, or wait wait for it to be over, or like for something, or I, I'll just I'll choose someone else. But to already have an existing IP and movies that are already in production, and you put you're, and you're pulling them in mid production off an ac, off an accusation, I think mm-hmm. that's kind of kind of extreme because you can kind of wait till everything finishes out be, be, before you do it. But people, the court of public opinion sways more people, and it's people that really have like they're not involved in it and they don't know what's going on, unfortunately. And, and, and that, that, that kind of kills everything. And, and we've, we've seen it in, you know, and that's why, and there's people that deserved what they got when everything came out 
online today and, and they were able to find out what exactly I did, but people's lives get turned upside down off of an accusation. And a lot of times people, they don't hear is, that they, 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 they don't hear that like the other side of it too unfortunately are or, or by the, even if they're cleared like the damage is already done like luckily johnny depp is more more he's he's well off he's 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 pretty much he's pretty much set for life but if it were someone else who wasn't mm -hmm. as fortunate say like if the position was reversed and johnny mm -hmm. depp had amber amber heard's net worth mm -hmm. you know you could have single-handedly killed his career oh yeah 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 Shar, what's up, man? Oh, I don't know. I don't. To be honest, I don't know what y'all are talking about. You, Amber Heard. Okay. Yeah, the the story. It was in the no, no, never. Pretty much, Johnny Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, Depp? Depp oh, won a trial Depp. for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so he won for he won for fifteen for fifteen million. And, oh, and, good. I was yeah. wondering what the verdict was. Okay. Yeah. So they. So he. So he. 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 He won fifteen million, and then she mm -hmm. won a countersuit. One of the countersuits for for uh, two million. So I'm not sure if, if Johnny Depp's uh, fifteen is after the two million he has to give her, or if that's what if that's what's left, um, or mm -hmm. if he if he's only really getting thirteen mil. But either way, um, he he did he did win his defamation case, and then her countersuit was that her. For the UK lawyer, pretty much the, the the UK lawyer was pretty much saying like that it was all a hoax. So 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 she she won that one. Yeah, but he could he could challenge that that and win easy because uh, it wasn't him technically. He no no and and, and, and it, it, I said it wasn't him. So so that's why I, I I'm not sure. Like I have to go read everything for that one. So I'm not sure if, if that is against him or the lawyer or whatnot and everything else. Oh, so so it, it's against him. In no, a, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, no, no, I'm not, no, no. Oh no, yeah. no. I'm. I'm saying like it's against Depp, but it's because he hired the lawyer, and it's mm -hmm. like he he was putting out statements via the lawyer. That's mm -hmm. that's the way she kind of framed it. Um, you know, from my understanding of it, mm -hmm. and uh, I really think that she um he could he could challenge that ruling if he wanted to, um. And the thing is, like, she was talking some mess about the UK court. I'm like, UK court has a totally different, like, structure. The burden mm -hmm. of proof is different. Like, everything is different. So, okay, you you proved it over there. But, I mean, like, you're, you had the exact same evidence. And you brought it over here. And it was trash. Like, th being that this was televised and I got to see stuff myself, like, it was bad. Like, how do you have no original source photos? Like, all of them have been through some editor. That's ridiculous. Hmm. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's crazy. That just that that screams like, yo, we was we was we was plotting. You know what I'm saying? We we in the back room, we in the red room developing photos. <laughs> like, but um, but anyway, what's going on in y'all's lives, man? What's going on um, in our lives? Well, yeah. actually. Go okay. ahead, Char. Yes. So I, I wanted to discuss, because I was on Facebook earlier, and mm -hmm. you know, Sasha and then Malia Obama are grown up now. Mm -hmm. And I can't handle it, but Malia is, is like 23 and Sasha is 20. <clears throat> and um, they both have boyfriends now, right? Mm -hmm. And so uh, Sasha is dating... I can't remember off the top of my head, but some producer's nephew or son or something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess we've always known Malia, her one of her boyfriend, her boyfriend that we last knew of is a white guy, <clears throat> a rich white, well, British, rich, rich white guy. Um, mm -hmm. So I guess she has a new man now or something. Mm -hmm. And Twitter is dragging her right now because apparently she has a type. And he looks a lot like the last man. And so they're like, oh, she she obviously has a type. There's a certain kind of man she likes. But who cares if somebody has a type? Like, I don't understand what the big deal is. And who cares if she likes white men? Who cares? So, so, so listen, very carefully, very, very carefully. <laughs> oh, everyone has a type. Everyone, everyone has, has a type. an MO, okay? Yeah. You're, you're not going to stray too far from it. Everybody has like a, a, 
a type. Like you, you every time you look at look at the people that you dated, either they're either you have a type physically, uh, sexually, or mentally and emotionally. Okay, like some women, they just love abusers. They just love being in a toxic, abusive relationship. And they just keep doing it over and over and over again. Some men like being stay-at-home dads. So they get in relationships with women that allow them to be stay-at-home dad types. You know what I'm saying? Like, they they love that. You know what I'm saying? They love being housemaker. And so they date women that fit that build. It's crazy. It's crazy that you 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 fall you have a role and you kind of just fall into it and the people that like your role and match they match with you. Oh my god, what? That's so crazy. Yeah. We know it's not about the type and the, the fact that she's dating a white guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's okay she's trending on on Twitter right now because they're dragging her. Cuz 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 Twitter is full of toxic people, and that's yeah. why I usually don't go on it. Because if I go on Twitter, that means that day I chose violence. <laughs> yeah. And you know, what? I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to choose violence. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, even so. That's why I usually stay off the Twitter machine. But it's the same thing that we saw with Bronny James. It's like, oh, how dare he date someone outside the race? Because apparently, that is so indignant in today's society. It's not, Man, that's not even a, that wasn't even a real date though. That's the part that pissed me off. It wasn't even a real date. It was just prom. Prom does it, not it, matter. No, it does. It doesn't matter. Like that might be his high school sweetheart. That that they might have been freaking dating already. And I'm just I'm just saying that. Oh, look at that! I went black. I'm back. Okay, and it's it's just that oh, people you were here they, the whole time. Yeah, we can see you the whole time. So, um, the people they just get fucking upset for no reason when you know people date outside their freaking race like i went to freaking salt lake city utah mm-hmm. with with my friend yeah and everybody was staring at us huh everybody was staring at us because we were the interracial couple in salt lake city really bro bro that was like mad so that was mad interracial couples last time i went so, what part did you so, go to I, I i was i went to salt lake and then and then i went to ogden so okay, okay, you went to Auckland. Okay, okay, you're gonna no, but no, but even in Salt Lake, it was people were just like, nope, nope. Okay, okay, okay. I mm, okay, maybe I just it was the night that I went out and where I went out too. It was like normal, bro. We honestly, man, we gotta do another trip as a gang, man. Because I would go back to Salt Lake. Like I had so much fun at that bar, so much fun. Well, I'm waiting for Char to take me out. <laughs> Yo, Shar, Shar, if we don't link while I'm in DC for four days in in this two in two weeks, I'm I'm literally going to be pissed. He's literally never gonna play your yeah, intro ever not, again. It's, it's not a if we don't, we better nigga. Like, oh shit, that's <laughs> <What? laughs> <laughs> just bring that out. <laughs> Boy, if you, we better. Like, no, we're, we're looking at it in for a fact. I'm on your ass. <laughs> for a fact. You better not come to my city and not come see me. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. Um, okay. Let me let me not dox myself. Um, I'm going to be in these in the heart of DC. I'll just put it that way. In the heart. That weekend is gonna be. Whew. I know. From, that's why I know. The, I know the traffic's gonna be bad. That therefore, I'm gonna be able to Don't walk. Uber, take Metro everywhere because Uber's gonna be insane. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I'm I'm walking. Like I'm in walking yeah. distance from everything Metro I want to go to. Look, luckily, I live near a Metro stop, so I can just Metro into the city. But mm-hmm. driving and Ubering is gonna be insane that day because traffic's gonna be insane. I'm sure Uber's gonna be. Um, because I remember where there, there was a game one weekend and they were charging a hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. For me to go into the city and I only live 20 minutes from the city. So oh, that's crazy. That was just from a game. So I can't something in the water is about to jack up everything. Man, I kind of want to take I kind of want to like one day, like hop on the train like really early in the morning, go to New York, and then hop on the train and come back. Like because I, 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 I 
That might have to so, join you, depending on what day you go. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I was thinking... Day, day yeah, because I was thinking, I was thinking doing that like probably Saturday. Because I think I get oh, there okay. on what day do I get there? What day do June, I get there? I yeah, get I got there. plans. I got plans Saturday, but if you do Sunday, I'll be down. Dang, uh, plans see. Saturday. Oof. Sunday. Yeah. When when is my checkout? Okay, no, my check my, my checkout is Sunday. No, June. no, it's not Sunday. It's my checkout is Monday. Monday, yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like my checkout is Monday. Or even if you do, you get in on the seventeenth or the sixteenth. I get in on the seventeenth. I get in on the seventeenth. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, yeah. So we could we could do we could swing we could do that Sunday if you want to. We could do that Sunday. Yeah, I'm gonna we gotta we gotta look at what the Amtrak talking about, but I, I I don't think it's bad. I don't ever think Amtrak is bad, like pricing wise. Yeah, I, I I really I really think like we could we could take the Amtrak go straight up to New York, kick yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I Catch take the bus. I even take the bus sometimes. Like there's a boat, something called boat bus. It's a cheap bus that you take up there. Mm-hmm. Oh, word! And it, it drops you off at like Times Square. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the the train station is not that far from Times Square. Like, because I stayed yeah. in the uh, I stayed in the um the uh. Is it the double tree that's right there, or whatever the Hilton is right there? Like where you, I when I looked at my window because I was on like what floor was I on? Like I was on like 29, 28, 27, something like that. Like I could one, I could see into somebody else's um, condo. That was weird. Like I kind of spent most of my, I spent like at least a good like two hours watching him and the party and all that because it was just a, it was very entertaining. Um, and then yeah. Times Square was down, uh, down there down down beneath me and then um then yeah like i just went out went walking around went to the uh, for some reason i found myself at a library like mm-hmm. in new york libraries are like like the the movie libraries like that's, that's that's how i describe those those are movie theater libraries like <laughs> books all the way up to the ceiling it, it looks like hogwarts in there honestly yeah yeah no hogwarts mm-hmm mm-hmm didn't you say um, you might be coming, Frankie? I am. Well, yeah, because I'm I'm flying into DC on Friday. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but then, Damn! I, this but, is but, but but I, I have to head out to Virginia because I'm doing the Virginia uh, Saturday and Sunday. I mean, oh, so you're only here Friday. Huh? You're only here for one night. Uh, yeah, because pretty much because I'm doing this this roller coaster thing for for Juneteenth, so that we're actually doing a a black coaster enthusiast meetup. So okay, so, so look, that Friday night, wait, so we, need, we need to link the seventeenth. What you're saying? The seventeenth, we making this happen. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. That's it. Let we're me put done. It's a done deal. That, that, that day is for Frankie and Smooth. I'm putting that in my calendar. <laughs> yes, we 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 up. We up. Okay, we lit. We lit. Yeah, it's gonna be lit in the city. It's gonna be. Woo. Yes. <laughs> you think I'm playing because the the way June the way June is where I live, I have to put shit in my calendar because my friends will literally fill up my calendar like that. Dang, they will fill up her calendar. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Oh my god, man! I'm. It's gonna be lit. Yeah, Liddy, Liddy in the city, boy. Um, I'm trying to think what else, man. I'm enjoying my haircut. You know what I'm saying? I need to cut my hair. Freaking, I oh yeah, so I got my I got I got my new GoPro, so I can so I can vlog now and everything too. Hey. With, with, with my with my mod media kit right here too to, mm-hmm. to do, do the extra stuff on there. Man, we we gotta we gotta do a full we gotta do a full born vlog vlog vloggy vlog. But it's, so. it's, we got we gotta we gotta capture something oh, yeah. of together physically in the same space. Yeah, because no, because I just know because I'm doing all of that. So uh, work is work is terrible. I I, I gotta say work is terrible. Don't don't like being there, but you know I just I I do it so I could just keep on moving, keep That's moving cool. forward. Yeah, but you yeah, know bro. work sucks. Don't get a job, guys. Just you yeah. know get on get on TikTok. Uh, break out, <laughs> make make lots of money. 
Mm. Don't do nine to five because like that too. And don't go on Instagram either because you know, Instagram is just freaking horrible. Instagram never cared about photographers. So I hate Bro, Instagram. it is literally real factory, bro. Everybody's dropping reels. There's nothing I, else going on. It's I know. Why it's like, you know, it's like for, for photographers, like you don't see shit anymore. And it's, it's dumb. And it's funny because they built us on photographers. Then Snapchat came out like, oh, no, now we need to do stories. And then after that, freaking out, like, now we need to go do freaking reels. And I'm like, what happens to photographers that, you know, made Instagram what it is today? So it's, you know what? F you, Zuckerberg. F you. I'm about to go tick, tick in my Facebook just, just, just to stick it to Zuckerberg. Oh my God! Where's it at? Where's it at? Exactly. Where, no, I'm I'm trying to see where my pizza is, bro. Your okay. pizza's never are coming. They, someone someone they, ate it on the street. Are they at IHOP? Oh yeah. no, they're at the, no 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 no. They're they're at the other they're at the other hotel dropping off a pizza. No, Somebody at IHOP the pizza. Some pancakes right now. And then they're gonna swing up to me. I love it. No, nope. I'm hungry. They they are getting some some they're getting some pancakes right now. They're like, yo, what's up, Red IHOP? I thought I thought it was IHOP, but it's actually the hotel that's old, um um past um mm -hmm. past past me. Like there's a, there's a business in between. Again, I'm not trying to dox myself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm very specific in what I say, man. People are weird, man. Man, man, I'll like last. I'll give people my address on air. 8040 Reseda Boulevard, apartment 129, Reseda, California, 91335. That, Bro, are you serious? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just oh say it convincingly, and you're like, what? You can tell he was making it up. Come on now. Oh, my God. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'll be for real this time, guys. <clears throat> 5449 Essex Drive. Palmdale, California. Find this out <laughs> oh my God. No, no. Okay. Um, all right. So listen. So listen, y'all. Listen, listen, listen. Um I had nothing to say. I was just being I was just being facetious. <laughs> 8301 Capuchano Avenue. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Man, my head's starting to hurt, bro. I need food badly. Okay. Six four two zero Tampa Boulevard, Reseda, California. I'm I'm at the point of like that. that have any of y'all played that play that game where you're like you're playing a little character and it's like Red Warrior needs food badly. So <laughs> to die. Gone, I think it's Gone <laughs> Legacy. Oh God! I was not expecting that. <laughs> Legacy, yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. It's about to die, like, like. <laughs> oh man! Oh my I'm... God! They just dropped it off at the door. Hold on. No, oh, look at that! You're running to go get. You're running to go get his pizza. Run, Forrest! Run! <laughs> nah, man. Like, right, honestly, right now, I'm looking to see if I want. I want a new camera lens, but I don't want to pay for it. I want a new uh because <clears throat> I want a 24 to 70 lens 2.8 just so I have like the holy trinity so I I, I can start doing more stuff with uh <clears throat> with, with, with my photography. I I really I really want to do that. Um I need to find a new platform to actually post my photography on just because Instagram is pretty much just dead. And I honestly like I've lost all interest to post on Instagram. Like I I, I really have. You can put your photo you can make your photos a real. Nah, like no, I just I've lost all interest to post on Instagram. Like I, I really have because like, so, like you, you, have to, a, you have such a good following though. Don't do it. Don't give no. up. No, 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 this man no, no, not give up. No, the problem is because I talked to, I talked to my following like that too because of, of how Instagram is now too. They don't see my stuff anymore because yeah. it's it, it's buried all within oh, reels and stuff like that too. So if if you're scrolling just check up check up on stuff like they they don't see it. And I think that's just the part where I'm kind of just like, fuck. So like that's why I said like I haven't I haven't really even posted posted like at all this week. And just cause I just don't feel like it. Like I lost all like oh motivation just to post because just like what's the point? Damn. Cause nice. and then like you like you look at like you look, look at the insights and everything. And even I post like the same picture with the same tags to see like what it reaches now to. And like my reach is like w went down to like a tenth <laughs> of, of what it, of what it was. So, like I said, it's just you're like wow. it's like why bother? 
So I, I've been taking like a mental health break from from that one. And it's like yeah, and the thing is like it's it's not even um like I'm like am I even like taking it harder and like that too? I'm like oh no like I'm not good. It's, it's like I'm more like just like what's the point? Because mm-hmm. honestly, like that's that's really what it feels like. It's like oh, what's the point? Oh man, you know what? You can convince your. Don't give up. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll probably I'll probably jump back to it. I mean that, that that like there is that. So I'm just saying, just like right now, I just I have no drive to go there and to say, hey, like like let me go post on 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 Instagram because there's really like I said, I feel like I feel like there's no point. Even if you look at my at my last photo with a, with like with its likes like in the reach, it's like it it barely cracked like 100 likes and then like the reach over there. And a lot of it's because if you look at the, if you look at the insights, it's not reaching people what it did. So like so- since. It, like in two months like they changed the whole thing and now they're like oh hey guess what we're doing it this way and we're not showing your stuff so what you so what my friend does because she's a content creator she invites all of her friends and she drops content and Mm. asks them to like and share Mm. so i might do that yeah like what when when i when i get back to it I'll, i'll probably you know look look for something looking looking for a way to to do it, but like I'm just like right now, I'm kind of mm-hmm. like meh. Like so, I guess it, it it's a good mental health break, t- taking a week off and um and 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 doing stuff. Mm-hmm. But you miss me. I flew to Chicago. I drove I drove through a monsoon. <laughs> no, like I, I went to Chicago last weekend, so mm-hmm. it was a uh, so I I went there on a I flew in on Friday. Mm-hmm. Right, so at the red eye, landed, and it was just raining. So I drove up to this small town in Michigan to mm-hmm. you know to get some footage and everything. So and I could so, but and it was pouring and raining. I was like, dang. So literally flew in Chicago, and Chicago, I swear, is the worst airport. The signage in Chicago, it's so bad. Mm-hmm. Damn. Because uh, and I forgot I've been there before, and it was whatever. And then I went there now, and they, they have a rental car, and, and they point you to the arrows, right? And then the arrows mm-hmm. just stop. So I'm like, where am I supposed to go? And then the thing is to go to rental cars, you have to hop on the train that that takes you to the rental car place. And then you get there and it doesn't really tell you what um it, it, like it, it doesn't tell you which one the rental car place is because and because like the station's like to some like mo thing. It's like it's called like 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 a MMF. Mm-hmm. But like they don't tell you, so you kind of have to freaking guess. I'm like, damn, what about for first timers? And then returning the car, it's the same thing. They're like, car this way, this way, and then it doesn't tell you what turn to take. To, to go there, I'm like, what the fuck's that's, up with Chicago? That's weird. It's like a, it's like yeah, the worst, worst place to go to go get a. Especially for like airport like that, like that, just the signage, the signage just sucks, and it's like, and, P, and P, Chicago's a, a place where people go who, like where they haven't been before. So you're mm-hmm. like, damn, like you know, what if I just you know, what, what if what if I want to go around and explore Chicago, get my rental car, man. So because because that was my first time renting a car at Chicago. Mm. And then, and yeah, the signage over there is just bad. But yeah, but like I said, drove to Michigan in, in the storm. Was excited, got some, got some footage, mm-hmm. and then I felt bad because I was at this amusement park in Michigan. It's called Michigan's Adventure, and the people mm-hmm. there were so friendly. Like I'm not gonna lie, like this this park. If I put it like on the tier of parks, it like I had to put it like in in the bad tier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so like if you say hey, like if you ask me like what park what what, what park you should go to, I'm not telling. I'm like this park's not even on the list. It's not just no, like, for, forget because it's too far out of the way. Because like, like there's nothing near it, and it's not that great. But the people there were so nice, and then I told them I was going going to the Six Flags close to there too, and they're like, "Oh, you need to go ride the Superman ride." And they're trying to tell me, give me tips and everything about about like what rides to go on, and like this one's so good. And I'm like, I've ridden at it at a different park and have a ride at my park that makes it look, look like trash. But I don't. Mm. I don't want to. I don't want to break their hopes and dreams. So I was like, yeah, you know, I'll try it out. Thank you so much. Is there any other tips? Mm. But yeah, but I know that girl. She was trying hard to get my number too, and I'm like, yeah, I'm no, no I'm not, not coming back to Michigan. At least not here. At least Damn. not here. Well, I, I hate Michigan like in general. Most mostly Detroit, but yeah. Wow. Wow. Damn. What, what about That's you, Shar? What what are, what are your feelings on Detroit? What about Detroit? What are your feelings on it? Do you like it? Love it? Hate it? Despise it? Can't stand it? The city? 
Yes. Um, I I don't really have thoughts on Detroit to be honest with you. I I hate Detroit. I haven't been back as an adult. I lived there for nine months as a child, and it was horrible. I hated that city. Yeah. <laughs> yes. There we go. Okay. Love it. Um, Woo! Charlotte's getting married. He's getting happy. He's getting the world right now. We're 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 gonna put that out to just to just Detroit. <laughs> we're, we're gonna get people pissed off at us. Oh man! They're gonna rage click. Ever since I was eight, so I can tell you. Oh man! Yeah, I do not like Detroit at all. I I haven't been in a while as 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 well too, because I remember I have family out there. My family out there, they were garbage. Um, the city wasn't. They didn't Damn. Like the best. <laughs> Oh, my family out of Detroit, they they are garbage. And I mean <laughs> Yeah. Bro, you I, double down <laughs> with a yeah. quickness. Like I, I was trying to I was trying to like give you an out. I was like, damn. Nah, like, nah, I, I yeah. will tell you, my family out there is garbage. Not not even don't like them, they don't like me. I don't give a fuck. And if well, I have to go back there, it'll be too soon. Well, hot damn. So yeah, so, so you will not catch me in the like saying yeah, you will not catch. The last time I was in Detroit, I I, I flew out there just because it was cheaper to go to, to um when I uh was it when I went and saw a girlfriend. Mm. Okay. So and it's funny because she didn't even live in Detroit. That was just the like, cheapest airport for, for and for, with what we were doing. See, and that wasn't the best weekend because we know you know why because we went into Detroit. You just go in Detroit and then you know you just choose violence. Mm. 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 <laughs> I don't condone violence, and I did not hit my ex girlfriend at all. I'm just that's just that's just an expression that I use to saying that it was a bad weekend. I had to put that disclaimer out there. <laughs> I don't people people. I'm saying, glad you oh. said that up because you know homes. We do not support violence. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, after that, people would be like, "Oh, Frankie's out there." Was it choosing violence against women? I'm like, no. Well, yeah, yeah, um, ma'am. Man, um, honestly, so I was on. So normally I do like all back everything on prom cars, right? Mm -hmm. That's cool. I love those people. Like it's a cool discussion every time. However, yes. I got on. I went and did Reverie the other night. Mm -hmm. I lost brain cells. I almost had a brain aneurysm, <laughs> and I wanted to die. Damn. Let me let me explain. Okay, let's yeah, do. There's, I know there's a dude, okay. Well, there's two dudes, okay. One dude, one dude, he's cool, he's cool though. He's cool though. He makes terrible points, he knows it, but he's cool. <laughs> he's cool. He 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 understood where he stood, and I was okay with that. You know, and I and he, he was just, you know, he just naturally was just a very selfish person. He owned it, so I can't get mad at that. He said that. However, the other dude, the other dude. Mr. Claw on Twitch. Bam. Bam is literally, literally one of the dumbest people I've ever seen. Like, he's one of those people that thinks he's smart because he, like, knows how to, like, put some words together. But it's really dumb. And he's, like, Q and he's full-blown QAnon. Like, bro, I have never sat down with QAnon people before. But let me tell you something. I could not believe let me let me center myself. Listen, I could not believe any of it, any of the words that were coming out of his mouth. He'd always start off with something. So here's this thing: like, like if you ask me, like the sky is blue, he would say yes, but and then but everything after him saying yes would proceed to for him to be like at the end of the statement. You're like, so you don't think it's blue? Like, I'm like, and that was everything. There was no, what were we talking about? We were talking about school shootings. We were talking about um the recent school shooting and gun control or whatever. And then we were talking about, uh I don't even remember the other thing, bro, because it got so off topic. And he, he was talking about how he got banned on Twitch for 20 months. I said, bro, number one, 20 months is oddly specific. Number two, whatever you did, you probably deserved it. I'm just going to keep it a ban. You probably deserved it. <laughs> Because every other word that came out of his mouth was just gar utter garbage. 
Okay. Look, so you have you have you had so I'm just gonna describe this panel, okay? So you have Prime in the middle, right? He's the moderator. It's his panel. You have an upper left, uh, I believe it's Scoticus or Spart Spartacus or whatever it is, right? Him, he's a conservative, you know what I'm saying? Prime prime military. Then you have the other dude, he's prior military, he's conservative. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, no, no, he the other dude is Spartacus because the other guy, his his in quotations name was Scott. Then uh, in the upper right, you had another dude. He's he's um, conservative, but he's reasonable. He's reasonable. I can fool with him. He was reasonable. All his every time he opened his mouth and made a point, it was reasonable. I didn't have much to disagree with him about. You had over here to my left left on the window right so we're, we're on the second row now you have the claw and twitch guy which is clinically insane you have mm -hmm. prime in the middle then you have the other guy that's making um uh, i believe his name was gnosis he made terrible points but at least he was reasonable and you could engage in conversation with him mm -hmm. um then you had in the lower left you had an actual biomedical doctor Okay, because we were talking about, oh, we were talking about monkeypox. There we go. That's why. We were talking about mon monkeypox and it being a, another epidemic and what do we think is going to happen, blah, 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 and trusting the CDC and shit like that, right? Mm -hmm. Then over there, then the next person over is me. Hi. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then on my right was this guy. Um, I don't even remember his name, but I remember his image was a frog, okay? We were online for three hours, okay? He had a virtual thing that was a frog, okay? It was like the frog was talking, the frog had his hand up. It was, it was, it was weird. It was weird, but it was funny every time. However, that dude, Claw on Twitch, right? He was trying to talk bad about um, the dude in the... Doobie, Doobie, Doobie is his name. About Doobie, the frog guy, right? And so the frog guy kind of was just like, he was taking it on the chin and, you know what I'm saying, kind of rebuttaling or whatever. But it wasn't nothing, nothing too crazy, right? Till um to every time that Clon Twitch said anything, he's like some, and I have a super hot girlfriend. I'm bigger than all of you. I'm the best. I founded this shit. Blah 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 blah. That's like all that's coming out of his mouth. Yeah. He's getting red in the face. You know what I'm saying? Hair just wild. He looks he looked crazy. So and then eventually, dude on uh dude on what you call it said yo, and this was a bit outlandish. But he said, yo, I'm going to beat my meat tonight to your girlfriend. Now, look, it, sound, it sounds outlandish, right? Till you realize in her link tree, her top link. She's a pretty big streamer on Twitch. In her, in her link tree, her top link is her OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. So immediately I went, oh, okay. I get what you mean. You're, impl you're implying my OnlyFans or whatever. He's talking about her OnlyFans. But here's mm -hmm. the thing. Her OnlyFans. Now, to be truthful, her OnlyFans is a non-nude OnlyFans, okay? She's, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She's just one of those um, e-girls that she looks good, but she's also queuing on. She hopped on the mic and said some mess that was incoherent and crazy. It was honestly, mm -hmm. I was scared for my life. Okay, no, I'm, I'm kidding. I was not scared for my life. But it was probably, it was probably the wildest three-hour discussion I've ever been a part of in my life, and I, I wanna, I wanna forget it, but it's etched into my brain. Like I did, it, I was so wild. I didn't even say anything for mm. the most of the thing. Like I was just sitting there in awe. Like all you can see is my facial expressions mm. and me and my eyes just getting big. Like, dude, did not just say that. Mm. I, I'm, I'm still. I'm okay then. I know they say outlandish stuff because it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter that, that that she has a freaking freaking OnlyFans. You still wouldn't, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that, that that was that. What he said, what Dewey said was wild. I, I'm 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 not condoning what he said. I'm just saying I understood where it came from because the other dude was just bragging on bragging on. You can only get on somebody so much before they respond with something that's gonna hurt your feelings or whatever. And then the thing is, like, um, the thing is, um, we found we found out that dude doesn't even have half of the following that he alleged he had. Like, even at peak, he wasn't even there. Like, Do Doobie did his research, 
and was like, yo, he's like, he's like, you across all platforms mm-hmm. have, I think he said just over like, it was either five or 6,000 followers. He said, bro, I have 60,000 people just in my Discord. He's mm-hmm. like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was really weird seeing that guy brag. He was drinking a lot though, so he was constantly deteriorating yeah. as it went on. Oh man! And that kids is why you should not drink. <laughs> Stay in school because you'll you'll drink, you'll become drunk, you'll go down the QAnon rabbit hole. Well, no, first you'll get drunk, you'll say something outlandish. You'll get banned on Twitch. Then you'll go down the QAnon rabbit hole because you have nothing else better to do. And then you become a QAnon Q on supporter. And you start <laughs> believing all their stuff. And you start saying you're the Lizard King live. Oh. Yeah. Sam said he was a Lizard King. But anyway, my bad. I didn't mean to take over the whole conversation. I, I, I But I just had to say that to somebody. Because it was just so wild to me. I could not believe what had happened to me. Why didn't y'all help me? Huh? Why didn't y'all help I, me? I needed uh, help. I was I, I was not invited like, to all like I, was, I needed help. That's why I wanted y'all to talk to me. It sounds like you needed like, needed a freaking adult. <laughs> I need so much help. Those people, they were kind of like, oh man. I'm out of so sure, go. What's what's important to you? Go say something. Huh? What's important to you? You could go say something. What's important to me? So, what's on your mind? Oh, how was it Wednesday? Shit, like I don't know. My week has been off. Um, mm. I don't know, y'all. I I just had a really great weekend, and then Tuesday snuck up. Uh, this face is killing me. <laughs> what you do for the weekend? Let's go. Oh my god! I felt like oh, your face was gonna get stuck. Oh. I did a lot. I was I was outside this weekend, but it was lit. So Friday, okay. um, there is this event. Um, it's like an R and B event, and it's mm. at the Westin in National Harbor. So National Harbor, for because you all don't live here, it's mm. basically where our our um, uh, casino is, and mm. so they built a whole town around the casino, and so. Mm. Because they to accommodate people who don't want to stay at the hotel in the casino, there are there's like a community right next to the casino. Yeah. Um, there's a West End there. So the West End has this event at the on the last Friday of every every month. Mm. Um and like you just show it's on the water. It's really a really cute concept. It's on the water. Um so it's inside and outside and in the DJ plays like mostly R and B music. Break me. So yeah, so it's from like six to ten. So I went to that. That was a lot of fun. And then Saturday I went to a wine festival, but it's not any wine festival. I go every year with my friends. It's like a yearly tradition. It's called the it's a Caribbean wine festival. And um you like get with your friends and like make food and you know, sometimes you sneak in liquor and you set up your booth. Well, it depends. There's two sides of the the um wine festival. One side is like for people who want to sit on the grass. But it's not the same experience at all. Like we said, we sit on the tent side where you bring your tent, you bring your chairs, and you set up your food, and you like sometimes you meet other tent people and y'all like start sharing with each other and get drunk together and stuff. And then um, they have wine tastings that come with it. So you go and you taste the wine or whatever, and then you, the the bottles of wine are like really cheap there, you know, because it, it's important right there. So you buy your bottles mm-hmm. of wine, you go sit down and you drink, you get drunk as hell, and then they have a a live uh caribbean band that performs the entire time you're there so you go mm. out there you dance with the band it, it y'all it, it is lit as fuck like there's a video so i you, have so you're telling me i can meet my baby mama out there <laughs> you can meet everybody out there child so there was so like <laughs> the dj was like okay let's do a um soul train line this soul train line was it was supposed to you you're supposed to be one person going down the you know, I'll dance. It was like 20 people dancing together. People were so excited to be outside. I got to send y'all the video after this so you can see what I'm talking about. But shit is lit. So, you know, after you've been drinking for eight hours, you'll be drunk as fuck. By the time, you, it's just, it's just like. So then after that, um, Sharp been twerking on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'll do it for right now. <laughs> I so missed nothing. Had, on Sunday, I went to a cookout, and the cookout was fucking lit, y'all. Like, mm-hmm. um, they had a DJ at the cookout, uh, had a lot of good food, and it was in somebody's backyard, but it literally felt like, you know, when you pull up to, like, those events they have in the park, and you bring your lawn chair, it was like, it was all that type shit, and we didn't leave. Like we got at the cook. We got to the cookout at six and then leave till two a.m. in the morning. Oh, literally. Oh, that's 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 a, that's a good cookout right there. That's what exactly. I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. Keep the food and the drink good, flowing. It had to be people a good. Be coming back. It had to be a good three hundred people at this cookout. Oh yeah, yeah. That's when that's when you know people people are there at the cookout. Then they'll leave. They'll come back. Yeah. And then I'll leave again and come back. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's that's the cookout right there. That's, that's, that's when you know you're kicking it. When people Man. leave and come back. You go from that, and of course, Monday I was dead to the world. So but I had a great weekend. My weekend was boring. I was in the house playing Elden Ring. <laughs> Getting murked. Well, summer in DC, there is literally something to do every single day. So Literally every single day of the week. I can't and, wait to and, get back to California. I'm gonna be lit again. Make yeah. make smooth lit again. <laughs> make smooth lit again. Because <laughs> I can't I can't do nothing. Like I, I, it's not that I can't do anything. It's just I like to if I go out, I want to be able to drink and have a good time. Mm-hmm. However, I cannot drink and have a good time because everything is too far, and I'm not gonna Uber there because it's yeah. too far. Like. The next closest city is 30 to 45 minutes. That's wild. I'm like, no. <gasps> no. Do, ooh, do y'all watch um P Valley? So, okay, look. So look, so look, so look. I started it with this girl I used to I talk to. I know she got to say. Hey, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna say it was bad. Like that, that, that first episode like blew me. I was like, yo, what? This is what this is? I said, hey, I need, I was like. I need to watch this. However, I never did because I thought I thought you know what I'm saying. I'd be watching it with her. However, you know what I'm saying. Like mm-hmm. me and her, yeah. me and her, me and her ain't rocked that long. So it was what it was. See, season two comes back this weekend, and I am so excited. Oh shit! Let me get through Stranger Things. Yeah, I need to watch. I need to watch Power because they said book three. I mean, on um, season three, they're gonna bring ghosts back somehow. I don't even know how that's even possible. I said, how? How is he alive? Dead. He, dead. <laughs> he finessed everybody. Like he always do. Right. <laughs> they right. Can't even right. What, what they're going to do is show he had on a vest underneath. That's what they're going to show. He had a vest on underneath. <laughs> That's from Will Kevlar. And he had fake blood to make it look like he was dying. And he, play, and he played everybody. And then he got up off the ground and just started walking through Walking through, uh, what what is the name of his club? Uh, I forgot. Shit. Is it truth? <laughs> is it yeah. truth? That's about right. Yeah. yeah okay, maybe. I forgot. I'm not gonna lie to you. I forgot. Yeah, I think it's truth. I want to really, I want to really like stand behind that. It's truth. Um, if it's not truth, then it ain't. Right. But anywho, like yo, like there's a lot of good shows out now. Like, uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are a lot of good shows. It, it seems like summer is becoming like the. It used to be the fall was was the time that all the shows came back. Now it's summertime, which is so strange to me. But I like it more because I tend to have more time in the summer. Like in the fall, it seems to be like yo. I'm like I'm like pre hibernation. Like I'm like grinding. Working like you know what I'm saying. I'm getting ready for holidays because the fall, like fall, like literally, you just roll straight into holidays and being in the house. And like now, I will say I enjoy the winter drops. Winter drop for shows are the smartest thing ever because everybody's in the house for the most part. Most people are in the house. Like people go out less when it's cold out, typically. On 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 mass on average, but yeah, when it's hot yeah, outside, yeah. they in the streets yeah. talking about they they f f n f n free, you know what I'm F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-F-N-
that's fuck nigga free. <laughs> I tried my best not to say it. And you said it again. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You started taking a song and I got caught up. Sorry. Char is officially ratchet. No way. <laughs> Eddie, oh, ratchet. Ratchet. oh, she's been ratchet. Excuse me. I, 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 that's gonna get tight because she's from, she's from Memphis. So, she oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Savage. bro, bro, you know what was so crazy, bro? When that dropped, I went and found all her social media and I and I marked what she was at. Like, she was at, she was on Twitter. She had, she had what? She had like maybe like two, three hundred followers. Maybe five tops, right? TikTok helps her blow up. And then and then on TikTok. Well, she no, she did all of that in one day. That's this is the craziest part. Everything happened in one day. They went, they did the song, they did yeah, the they video, they put it out. I seen it through um I forget who I seen it through at first, and then I watched it. And I said, Yo, she got a hit. This is gonna go. Like, mm-hmm. this is immediately as soon as I seen it, this is gonna go. Like before it was before, like it even was out, out like because, um, because a lot of Arkansas people were already on it because Arkansas is just a suburb of Memphis, pretty much. We don't have our own culture, we don't, we don't, we really don't like people. People be saying, Oh, Arkansas, we got our, we got our own thing. Like, no, nah, we really just like a suburb of Memphis, or, mm-hmm. or we're just hybrid. We, we take in stuff from, uh, from Texas and we take in stuff from, uh, what is that? Like, um, uh, what is that? Uh, I want to say maybe maybe what St. Louis, you know what I'm saying? It's close by. Taking a little little things from there, but not not too much. It's just a little sprinkle, sprinkle in a little bit of that, sprinkle in a little bit of New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? Some 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 Louisiana, sprinkle in a little bit, but it's mostly just Memphis and Dallas and Houston like influences that influence Arkansas. I mean, uh, uh, there's some, there's a lot of Atlanta influence as well because people tend to leave. Go to Atlanta and then come back. Um, you know, that's that's just a thing. There's just a thing that happens. Um, yeah, yeah. And it's just it's just something like I knew that record was gonna be big. Like as soon as I seen her page, I said, I'm like, man, she's gonna have like a hundred K before before tomorrow. And sure enough, it got just picked up. All I seen was people twerking. Like all I seen was just video after video after video after video of people twerking on the car. Like, cause at first it was just outlandish. People were like, "Yo, they so ratchet." Look at the pregnant woman in the video. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like they had a pregnant yeah, chick in the video. That, that's also like, cause I went and read the comments in the um. I like to go and read the comments in YouTube videos, mm-hmm. and people like the authenticity. They're like, "This, she's just a regular everyday girl." Where mm-hmm. she's, she's ratchet. Like she hanging with her ratchet friends. They're enjoying themselves for the summer. Like. They're, they don't have a ton of makeup on. Like they mm-hmm. have real bodies. Like they like the authenticity. Yeah, yeah, and and that is, that is something that's missing a lot from the music industry. It's just mm-hmm. authenticity. Like if you yeah. can come, like for instance, for instance, um, like when you look at somebody like like Jack Harlow, right? Jack Harlow mm-hmm. just he, I you can love love his music, hate his music. I I tend to like like some of his records. He has he has some good records or whatever. Um. Like he has, a, he has a lot of good records, actually. Um, in my in my opinion, he's not a bad rapper. However, he's not so good to where he should be better than or making more strides than a lot of these other rappers. There's two things helping him. One, he's white. Two, he's just very himself. That's and and that's what helps him. He's very authentic. I don't feel like when I look at Jack Harlow, I feel like he's trying to be somebody else. He's just Jack Harlow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been an hour, y'all. All right, then it's been I mean, an hour, I mean, y'all. I mean, yeah, I mean, Miss Timekeeper, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, Miss Mrs. Madam Secretary. I just told you how my weekend went. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm still covering right. the weekend. <laughs> All right, then. Well, I guess, you know, this is a home of the smooth, just a roundtable discussion, just chilling, talking about us. We hope that you got to know us on a deeper level and know what we do and what makes us tick. So if you yeah. really like this, you know, free freestyle content is, you know, go hit that like button, hit that, subscribe. you know, subscribe, go ahead and comment. And you can get more content like this with Char being ratcheted on her on her crazy weekends out there on the streets of DC. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Y'all hit y'all hit that. Y'all hit that handle right there. Y'all hit that handle right there. If you want to see her twerking. 
Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But yeah, anywho, um, we are out of here. Uh, I kind of love you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>